to share the little things you have that can benefit another person. And that faith comes with wisdom. When you have faith and God has flooded those things in your hand for you to work with, when the plenty begin to come, or when something begins to come when there is nothing, when food begins to knock on your door, when money begins to appear and, you know, go into your pocket, when your wallet's a bit fatter than the normal, when those good times are there, remember, remember to take wisdom. on wisdom. Because wisdom... You only can have wisdom uh, when you when you fear God, when you love God, when you serve God. You will never have wisdom if you don't know God. Wisdom cannot come and land on somebody else or land on any human being or any personnel who doesn't know God. Because wisdom is only given by God. Wisdom is never given by any universities in the world. Wisdom cannot be learned. Wisdom cannot be studied. Hallelujah. Wisdom cannot apply to yes. any normal intellect. Yes. No, wisdom is only given by God. It's a gift of the so Holy it's a Spirit. gift of the Holy Spirit. It's a gift of God to you. When you fear God and then that wisdom come on, on you. So it can be more like what I said, the three categories. You can have a lot on you, but with wisdom that multiply to four, three, yeah. or more. The little one that you're getting. But when you have nothing, with that faith and wisdom, it increases the little you have uh, to another level. Hallelujah. It's amazing. Because when you have wisdom, you will manage it well. Things that comes by your way, the same thing, you still doing the same shopping, but when you have wisdom, it calls, because when God is looking, I mean, and he will be saying, if I can trust him, or trust her, with a small thing, and they have so much wisdom, yeah. uh, to manage it well, hallelujah. oh, hallelujah, he will flood more your way to manage, because he knows that even the little that he gives you, you manage it well. And when you manage it well, indirectly, you try to, to tell God, I'm grateful. Thank you. Yeah. But no one this is not new because this is part of our training. You know, whatever little that comes, label them neatly. Uh, keep your kitchen in order and label them accordingly. So when you come, you know exactly what I'm going to be cooking today, what's going to be used today. So that simple wisdom, it calls more things into your kitchen. Yep. But if you just come and throw things mm -hmm. around, whenever you're looking for the onions, okay, there's a bag of onions somewhere there. If you're looking for the rice, okay, there is the rice somewhere there, the plastic bag is still somewhere there. So things are all over the place. When it's all over the place, it's not organized and there's no clarity. Walking with God, that's clarity, organized thoughts, faith, and wisdom. And it's amazing because those automatically call things not only to your own, uh, call things to your life, elevate you to another level, yeah. open the door that you never thought can open. Oh, it's amazing. You just need to practice it because it's your, within your reach. The Bible says oh, when hallelujah. you are faithful with the little things, and God will give you to be in charge of more things. Amen. So when you are faithful, when hallelujah. you become a, a good administrator, hallelujah. a good custodian, of what God is giving to you. Amen. Then God sees that you are utilizing well. Because that's come from God. Hallelujah. Because of that, God will multiply. You know, I want to go back to, to the resources. If you look to God as a source, when your resource is taken away, you still have your source. Oh, hallelujah. When you trust in your resource, resource is the second hand that you receive from. Resources is your work. Resources is maybe the rent that you receive. Resources may be a small business that you, that you are operating. That is resource. But when you trust God to be your, re, your source, Hallelujah. when they remove the resources, Hallelujah. you still have your source. Yes, you will never be affected. We are oh, living hallelujah. on our source, not our resource. We pray for our Amen. resource. But remember, you trust, you the fear source. the source. And God is our source. And don't rely on the resource. You have to rely on the source. Oh, because hallelujah. if they remove the resource, you still have the source. Amen. Hallelujah. And I want to challenge our life today. This is the time that we need that mentality. As we said before, faith pleases God. You know, when you, when you just take that Hebrew chapter 11, Amen. verse 6, that first part, faith pleases hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. You want to please God?